Okay, now let us see how do we handle these intervals with function and fixed derivative when they are hard, we are having them in the denominator. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Now start with, you always realize, can I get the integral even if it's in the denominator or it's in the numerator? We have seen the category not in the denominator, now we are handling this. If you start with, if you look at this, you start, we know natural energy, we can differentiate it, you get 1 over x. And this one x is already down, so this one is a function and it's delivered. What you do, so when I look at this, I get this 1 over x, which is already a. So, you select here u, b natural log of x. When you depreciate this, you get, you the natural log, you get 1 over x, dx. And 1 over x, dx is already here. So, meaning, now this integral will be this integral of natural log of x over x is going to be integral. Now, our natural log is u times our dx over x dx over x is u and so this will be u squared over 2 if you interpret this plus c but what is your u? your u is natural log of x the whole square over 2 plus c don't worry forget to remove this letter when I come now to number 2 I have integral of tan x dx now we start tan x you can express it as sine x over cos x. So if I write this as integral of sine x, now I can show function. It's very bad. I see that when I differentiate any, when I differentiate cos, I get sine. So I can say let u be cos x. So because when I differentiate cos, I'll get the sine, it's already there. From here now, my u will be, when you say cos you get, dx. But you see sine x is not negative, so I put this out. will be a sine x dx. So from there, I can now put that my integral is going to be sine x dx is negative u over cos, which is u. And this will give you natural negative of u. It would be negative. Natural log, our u is cos x then plus c. That's how you can handle it. And remove this using properties and so on. So, members, I think from here you can now try integral of cos x with the is. Okay, we come now to number three. We come to number three. I have integral sine root x over root x dx. You see that now the angle is a problem. We said that if the angle is not linear, we will be direct move it away. So it's that now when I differentiate this, I'll be having when I differentiate this angle I have I have then expand and that is one if I push down I'll get this so this one becomes the function this becomes the derivative. So I say let u be root x root x is the same as x power uh, meaning, if I differentiate, I get du equal to this r half will be now, then reduce the power by 1, it will be negative r half, then dx. You see now, this will be du equal to dx over 2. When I push this one down, it will be 1 over x power half, but power half the same as root x. And you see, this 2 is not here, so if I cross multiply, so that I have 2 du equal to dx over a root x. Putting it here, now my integral will be integral sine u, because the whole of this is u. Then dx over root is going to be 2 du, which will be 2 sine u du. This will be to say the integrate, the sign will get a negative of a cos u, then plus c. But our c, our u is negative 2, our u is root x, and that's how we handle it from here. As soon as that, let me come to number 4. Number 4, be careful a little bit. We have integral of 4x plus 2 over 
x squared plus x plus 3 dx. Now, you start when I do shift this thing down, I get 2x plus 1 if I do shift this thing down. But it's not this one is not here. But it's not there's something common here, which when I paraphrase out what is common, which is the 2, I will get this out. So, when I this will be now, when I paraphrase out a 2, I'll be having now 2x plus 1 over the x and so now when I do this, I'll be having that with the easy. So now if I let my name be the down thing, now my name will be 2x plus 1 the x, which is there already, which will give me now 2 into the whole of this is the u over the whole of this is u, which will give you 2 natural log of u plus c, which will be 2 natural log of our u is x squared. Then plus a c, which is now in number 5, extra care of this one. This one is x, you need extra care. Integral now of 2x minus 3 over now x minus 4 squared squared dx. Now we see that this one is squared, this one is squared. Ah, it's going to give us a pen. If it's not now they are having the same power, it's not by applying those of the If they have the same power, it's the same as that all power out. We start with the basis. So this will be 2x over now, this will be now x minus 4, then x plus 1, all of them are having the same power. This is proper common basis, this power will come and it will come, but don't ever forget, forget the command. Now is that if I simplify this, if I expand that bracket, I'll be adding 2x minus 3 dx over, if I expand this I get x squared minus 3x minus 4. The whole is squared. And you see now if I do change this, I get that split down. So now we say if I let now if I let my u from here in my integral of 2x minus 3 over x squared minus 3x minus 4 dx squared, if I let my u be x squared minus 3x minus 4. Now I take the variables, I bear the new equal to 2x minus 3 dx. Now, some people set the new dx and then you can see the cost of the So from here, from here now, integral the whole of 2x minus 3 dx is u over the whole of this is u squared. You take it, you take it out, it will be integral, you negative 2 du, which will be negative 1. Okay. We lower this, we get, when we integrate this, we add the power by 1, which will give you, okay, which will give you, you power negative 1 over negative 1 plus c, which is negative, the same as negative 1 half over u. If you take it down, take this u down, and from there, plus c, I mean this is plus c. Now, from there, you know what our u is? Our u is negative 1 over our u from here is x squared minus 3x minus 4 then plus c. That's why we have that number. As simple as that. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I wish you the best.